okay so um this is for the busy couples the couple that says that i'm so busy i don't have time for sex i'm tired when i come in i don't um i don't basically you don't have time for sex with your spouse you're always tired when you come in there's not in fact you just want to go to bed take your bath and go to bed either the wife or the husband you don't you can't you can't bring yourself to you know okay man and woman of god this is your remedy quickie you need to learn the art of quickie quickies early morning sex okay she's crossing the road <laughs> Woo, the cars are coming yeah so you need to learn the art of quickies learn the art of quickies because that will be your your saving your saving grace listen him quickies are not bad it is you know cause, okay what is quickies I'm, I'm sure somebody's wondering what 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 what's she talking about what what what's quickie okay so quickie is sex that is um what they call it washed or sex that you know it doesn't last for so long there is um, no time for so much foreplay there's no time for so much touching smooching kissing blah. you don't have so much time for that because it's on the spot it's on the go it is spontaneous do you know that most times when your husband wakes up do you notice that he has an erection he has an erection when when he, when he wakes up he's already erect you know so early morning sex is very very good early morning sex is very very healthy it has been proven it is better than coffee it's, it's better than espresso the the energy you get from it is way better than it's, it's more than what you get from an ex espresso and it keeps you going all day there's no downside there's no negative side there's no you know crashing there's nothing like that it is a good one so checking uh, um what they call it thinking okay i'm 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 hurrying i'm uh, i'm on a rush i have a, a time um schedule i have a tight schedule i don't know how to meet up with my schedule blah 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 i get it but add quickie to it make sure that you know you are doing you don't neglect the art of quickies quickies will help you quickies will save your marriage some people may not agree with me but i think that because it's quickie for the woman to come it takes a longer time for the woman to come so if you can if if your spouse both of you can have an agreement you make sure that you do something that makes you to come faster something that makes you to come faster your husband already knows your body so he can make sure he just goes for that place and then just you know if it is your boobs he goes for guns for it go straight to the mark you know for the mark what you can also get um what they call it um a jelly that you could use as a lubricant if you're not yet wet you know or you can also get a vibrator your husband can use it on you yes yes you can get that and uh, so that it is quick he's using it at the same time if you if you, he's doing some other things just to because you know the number of times he strokes men cannot last for so so long with continuous uh, stroking so the, the the vibrator can do the work for you i haven't tried the vibrator before but i've heard uh, i've heard women talk about it as in when my my in my if my husband is my husband has used it on me so if you're comfortable with that your spouse is comfortable with that why i don't like all those sex toys because sometimes it can replace your spouse and you don't want that to happen you don't want that to happen so one has to be careful make sure that it is used when your spouse your spouse is more using it on you or you both of you are in it at that moment 
not when your spouse is not there, then you, you are trying to get some relief, then you are using it. Dig it. Because that will eventually replace your spouse, which you don't want. You don't want that because those toys can cannot, they can cuddle you. They can't give you the affection that your spouse is going to give you. They can't, they can't do it. They can't do it. You can't talk to the toys. You can't communicate with the toys. You can't, you can't give affection to the toys. So, don't allow it look like they are, those things are, will replace, let them not replace your spouse. So, you have to, you have to do it with wisdom. That's why I'm recommending it, recommending it with, I don't use it, but if you say you want to use it, I don't have a problem with it so long as you're using it with your spouse. So, first things first, make sure that both of you have an understanding, both of you have an understanding, and then you understand the intricacies of these things. But my point is this, learn the art of picky. Make sure you learn the art of picky. There's a way to have sex and come. Look, go, go, for, go for her clitoris. Make sure that she's, um, make sure that she's wet you can go for the for the clitoris you can go for you know the the tip once you go for the the the, the, the clitoris she's getting excited then she has other parts of her body that excites her you know the parts so go for those parts and make sure that you know you stay right there don't 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 be in um don't be in uh uh, uh don't don't you remember it's squeaking so it has to it has to hit the mark you get it has to hit the mark so and you want it to hit the mark spot on so you have to do it do it and understand each other the, when when i want it fast this is how i want it this will help me come faster and you each other help each other you are trying to calm yourself and he too is trying to make you come he too is trying to make you come men it's not so difficult for the men to come Especially that any any morning picking, it's not so difficult. It is the women. So learn the art of picking. Learn it. Learn it. Okay, and that will help your marriage. You save your marriage, oh. <laughs>